And one of the filmmakers to be nominated for an award is 24-year-old Gerard Barrett from Kerry. And his first feature film, Pilgrim Hill, is due to be released in April. Our reporter, Valerie Waters, has been meeting Gerard and finding out all about his film. I don't think people realise how lonely farming can be. You know, it's, um, you work seven days a week, Saturdays and Sundays. From maybe half six in the morning to sometimes up to eight o'clock at night and it, with that it's it's kind of hard to have a social life. Listowel and its environs in County Kerry has a rich history of storytelling and writing. Its latest creative hero is the young filmmaker Gerard Barrett. His debut feature film, Pilgrim Hill, has won many awards at high-profile film festivals, both in Ireland and in the US. What's happening, eh? You must be looking for something. I'm looking for a legend like yourself. What's cracking? Uh, not much. Any chance of a cup of tea and a biscuit? The film features the actors Joe Mullins and Murish Crowley and is set on a farm in County Kerry. It's a story about loneliness and isolation. And the story has touched the hearts of audiences around the world. The essence of this tale has universal appeal. I'll never again make a film like it because it was such a, a unique um, process that we could do this small piece and just do it very very well and kind of we didn't have any financiers telling us no you have to do it this way you know we need a female character to have a love interest I didn't want any of that I just wanted it to be real and honest about a man just living alone and what it's like to live alone and what it's like not to have kids and that impact it has on you. All is quiet. So I got a loan from my local credit union to make the film for four and a half thousand. We shot it in seven days. I found the most amazing actor, Joe Mullins, to play the lead role. And um, he was just amazing. He was just brilliant. Because the story of the film is about a bachelor farmer living in rural Ireland and um, how he deals with isolation and loneliness. And Joe is a farmer himself who does some acting. And he was just perfect. I saw him in a play and he was just, I just said, that's my Jimmy Walsh for my film. Well, so where can I go? The cows still have to be milked, and I, I have himself to look after. I come from that world, I'm a farmer's son myself, and I wanted the film to be utterly real. And if that meant that I had to put on the Wellingtons and go out to the bog, and uh, a lot of the lads, uh, a lot of the crew are, were, are, are not from the same background as me, so it was kind of, they were kind of shocked when I said, lads, we're going into the bog. So we shot in the bog, we shot in a live working farm, Mary Welsh from Barry Longford who is just amazing. She let us in for seven days because she, she knew what I was trying to do. The film has been screened at the Galway Film Fla, the Cork Film Festival, and then on to America at the Telluride Film Festival. It was weird because you make this small little film about a character in Ireland uh, in, in the most rural part, and yet it translates to... Um, you know, to an audience in America, whereas, like, you just can never think that any of this is going to happen. Around this time, Gerard was also picked up by the prestigious WME agency. It looks like this 24-year-old star is on the rise. In Galway, you know, it won the Rising Star Award uh, for the film, and it was just great to be recognised in the Irish Times, selected it as, you know, the best film at the Galway Film Fla, and it's just kind of... You know, you never kind of think that you'll ever be in that situation because it's just such a small little film, you know, you don't think that it will have impact. Gerard started writing when he was in St. Michael's College in Listowel and continued to put on plays in St. John's Theatre in the town. He made a short film called The Valley of Nakanur while still at college, which won top awards at the Kerry Film Festival and the Newport Welsh Film Festival. Storytelling is just a part of life in North Kerry. So it's a type of place where, you know, if you're anyway into storytelling, you know, you'll be inspired. As I said, if there's any bit of storytelling in you at all, it'll, it'll find its way out. And, and that's kind of, you know, that's kind of 
something that really drove me was that I just said to myself, you know, if they can do it, then I can, you know, so. If I thought I was getting caught for this, I wouldn't have bothered my arse coming. Oh, look. A bit of work now will do you no harm. Work? This is caveman stuff, boy. Look, will you shut up and just carry on? Look at the cut of my trainers. I could never understand how a lad would wear white shoes. It's just never made sense. It's called fashion, Jimmy. Well, fashion now is the least of my worries. This story of Pilgrim Hill is a poignant one. Its sensitivity and honesty have been recognised and applauded. I suppose it just goes to show if you put your head down and just do good work, then good things happen, you know? <laughs>